the book is best understood as a work of very poorly written fiction. And I also will say that the author is a garbage author of a garbage book. And the tr tragic thing about this book, and there are many things about it that are unfortunate, but the portrayal of the president in the book is so contrary to reality, to the experience of those who work with him, to my own experience having spent the last two years with him. You know, on the campaign, I had the chance to travel all across the country with the president on uh, Trump Force One, it, the, be the president, me, Dan Scavino, Hope Hicks, a few other people, uh, going from rally to rally to rally to rally. And I saw a man who was a political genius, somebody who we would be going down, landing in dissent, there'd be a breaking news development, and in 20 minutes, he would dictate 10 paragraphs of new material to address mm -hmm. that event so, and then deliver flawlessly in front of an audience of 10,000 people. So, See, if, Penn, you let me, right, if you let me ask no, this question. No, because you have you 24 hours of negative anti-Trump hysterical coverage on this network okay. that led in recent weeks to some spectacularly think, embarrassing false reporting I think the from viewers your right now can ask Why don't you just give me three minutes to tell you the truth about Donald Trump that I know? And then all of our campaign staff Because it's my show and, and I don't want to do that. So the, you know thank you, Stephen. About? As Republicans, hey, Jake, lawmakers call you know for Attorney General Jeff about? Sessions to resign. In a major reversal, Democrats are now coming to his defense. What changed? We'll ask the top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee next.